All right, St. John's remodel. <laughs> uh, doing my best Pete Murata impression for my walk through here. So uh, before the remodel actually opened this up to make it a straight shot uh, in for the, the customer, which is nice. So spot boxes to our right, power wall to our left. Pardon me there. All right, so uh, this used to be one foot shelving on this gondola. We uh, swapped it out to two foot shelving, moved it on down the, moved it to the right. Um, also are in the process of switching from the three by three shelves to the uh, shelf tag shelves, thereby adding another uh, full shelf to Haba. So that'll be nice. Uh, this is all new Logier. So we went for the six foot tall in the back. Um, still got to get some uh, product now to, to fill it up, but um, definitely uh, helps us with our holding power. And walk around here. And uh, tortilla end has been moved. We'll talk about in a minute. So once again, the hard lines down this side. This was uh, where hard lines was. This is Anisha. Say hi, Anisha. I'll talk to you in a second, okay? Uh, so this was where Hard Lines was, and we've uh, moved to the shallower steel. You can, I don't know if you can see the perspective, but it's not that deep. Um, and that enabled us to put wider shelves on Hard Lines. Uh, so we went with uh, detergent down here and into pet food. And you can see the line on the floor, that's where the old logier was, so the aisle shifted by that amount. And we were able to do that by putting in the narrow, narrow steel. Kinda walk around here. So this is our baby end cap. Uh, <laughs> it's very small, because it's the narrow steel once again and not very deep because we need our clearance, but it uh, gets the job done. Um, we still have some steel here, which is going to be changed out to Logier very shortly. Down aisle two now, we've moved uh, aisle two, we've moved pasta, pasta sauce, rice, beans, and Hispanic. Um, we've also put in four tier for the whole run. Uh, all of this product came from aisle five, which was also bake and a bunch of other stuff. It was very, very crowded. Now, not so much. And then we've got it capped off with the tortilla end cap, which makes a lot of sense. And is nice, just not full. Uh, the only thing that is a little bit weird is yes, we do run uh, house detergent and stuff into the end of the tortilla end cap, but when you've got 10,000 square feet to work with, sometimes you just gotta make some uh, exceptions. So anyways, and then down the other side, uh, we won't walk down this aisle. Uh, nothing moved from here. It's soup, canned fish, fruits and vegetables, but we did add four tier down the length of the aisle. So lots more holding space. Got our nice new egg case. And then moving on down here, uh, we used to have uh, cereal bars in this area. Um, and we've actually expanded all the way down. So it's just breakfast, the whole aisle now. Uh, on the other side is our juice aisle, um, which we've added some extra tiers to. That used to be mostly three or two tier. Now it's three tier. Uh, and on the end here, these last two bays uh, used to be coffee. Uh, now it's our sparkling section. Uh, so definitely expanded quite a bit. Um, got the new, new end caps here with the merchandisers on the side. So those are pretty cool. Adds a lot more holding power. Uh, this is one of our newer LA ends. It's kind of a makeshift because they didn't send us the right materials, but uh, we made it work with a taller, a taller uh, side stack. So 
Uh, coffee has now moved over here. Uh, we still need to get power hooked up, <laughs> so we're out of order at the moment, but that should be done in the next day or so. Uh, down this aisle, we've got coffee as the wraparound, uh, which is doo -doo -doo. And then uh, this used to be Hispanic, so now it's our coffee and tea. And then we've got, uh, we're going into oils and vinegars. And then we're kind of spread out here right now because we need to get more bacon, but we've added a whole nother section of bake, which will be right here. We also added four tier to all but one section of this area. Right across from here, we've got our spices, which we moved from aisle six. Um, let me kind of whip around here. Uh, condiments stayed on this aisle, but we did add a fourth tier. Uh, remained three tier for pickles and olives and such. And then we moved all of our uh, bag wrap from aisle six over here as well. Uh, and this is where the pasta used to be. Um, and prepared foods. So uh, four tier, all through here. Most of the store is four tier now. Um, and we go into uh, the kind of protein area, which is, seems a little bit weird going off the bad, bag wrap, but the reason for that is we now have a protein end cap, uh, which is once again, a narrow, narrow end cap because of the uh, spacing aisle issues, uh, but it works out great because you've got your adjacency, um, you got produce right across the way here, uh, and then this just made sense as far as a little bit of extra holding power for this category. But then speaking of adjacencies, we move over here to aisle six and we've got our healthy snacks, uh, which goes into dried fruits, which goes into nuts, which goes into jerky slash popcorn, which goes into uh, bars uh, as well. And then we stole this idea from Airway Heights because I was looking at their Pete Murata video and I saw that they had soda on their aisle, uh, their grocery aisle uh, on the Logier and I said, hey, that looks pretty good. We're gonna do that. So. That's that. And then we roll down into candy, which was here from before. And then we move into, we expanded our bread section. Um, we've got these nifty little bump outs here, which are, or radius shelving, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then this is our kind of peanut butter and jelly area. <clears throat> now turning back around to the left side of aisle six, uh, this Frito-Lay end used to be on the back side. We moved to the front, which this was always kind of a dead end cap, but it gave us uh, more room here too. You can see by the markings on the floor where the end cap used to be and the clearance you used to have versus now. Uh, and then down the cookie cracker aisle here, uh, we went to four tier for the majority of it. I'm not gonna walk all the way down, but uh, four tier for the majority. Um, once again, denser, better, all that good stuff. Coming back around to the front of the store here, um, wines area, we definitely, we got a uh, radius shelving in the wine, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we've added uh, what used to be an old end cap to our wine area to kind of help uh, get some more skews in. Um, so. And then we've had this before, but this is just our, our beer area. Walking up through the front end. And then what's going to be here in the next couple weeks, but is not here now, we've got one beer cooler and then the ice. We're getting two more three-door beer coolers, which will push the ice all the way down. So these pallets are just kind of here for right now. Um, but all those coolers will come all the way down to the end here, where we have a nifty little uh, seasonal rack, which takes us into our plants. And that wraps up the St. John's remodel.